Hey friends, how to empower others when you're delivering a powerful feedback? Now, stay till the end of this video and you will see three simple techniques that I use in delivering a very simple feedback in three great ideas. Let's see how I did it. Idea number one, infuse humor <laughs> and use witty comments to start. When you do that, you immediately get the audience off their feet or off their chairs and immediately paying attention to you as the speaker. Step number two, use pauses and gaps to help audience digest the content that you share. Don't go on a bullet train blah, 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 because you're not gonna achieve much. What you could do instead is tell a point, pause. Tell another point, pause. Give the time and take it as a conversation where you're taking turns with the speaker, with an audience or with a crowd. But in fact, what you're doing is that it's just you that's presenting your speech to the audience. Just imagine that the audience is there talking to you and you need to pause as though it's a natural conversation. Step number three, utilize the screen presence and stand if necessary like a physical presentation. Just like how I'm doing this video online, I could easily sit down, but that would be, in my opinion, very low energy. I feel when you stand, you have your whole diaphragm opened up and you feel a lot more and airy, a lot more energetic and a lot more flexible to really deliver a punchy message with a lot more energy. And friends, pro idea, use hand gestures purposely as to not distract from the content share. When you use hand gestures, notice how I use it mildly in minimalism, not to go all over the place and distract you from what I'm saying. So end of the day, recap. Number one, humor. Number two, pauses. Number three, screen presence. And pro tip, hand gestures purposefully. So my friends, I would like to show you my evaluation speech very shortly. So therefore, let's go. Can I request Dashin, please? Thank you, Dashen, you. Right, ladies and gentlemen, Avnesh, my angry young man friend, I for one felt touched by your story because it is something that was very relatable. So here's what we're going to do today. We're going to go into three great things you did really well and one room for improvement. So let's begin with what you did really well at the start of, the meet, at the start of your speech. You infused humor straight away. You brought us all up from our seats and woke us up on screen with your great sense of catchy humor. And I love your witty sarcasm to throw in a joke and ask us a question and get us all up. That was a great way to start. And then you begin into your flashback to the story of how things were when you were two years old. You were a small, cute, angry young man. And that is when we got the feeling of, oh, this is where the story is heading. Not too bad. So we as an audience, we are expecting, we are waiting at the tip of our toes and seeing what's going to come next. And you really gave us that element of suspense, which you did really well, by infusing a lot of pauses. You took a lot of gaps in between. And you definitely spaced your speech along the way. That was a great way of doing it, Avnish. And one thing which I really felt you did well was your hand gestures. For example, throwing the shoes. Now, that was splendid because it gave us a bit more of a visual element as to how cute little Avnesh at a small two years old would do throwing the shoe versus right now. So that gave a nice flavor to your personal story. One thing which I would like to help you improve on is your signposting. I felt there were, there were parts throughout the speech where we can actually have a bit more signposting to guide the audience who couldn't really follow in terms of pausing to help them out with, okay, this is part one, part two, part three or H2, H5, H20 something. So at least we as an audience are better able to follow your story because when you include pauses along with signposting, that will help to bring it to the next level. And I also would like to help you to increase your screen presence because think of your screen as your stage. A lot of the time you were sat down, shoulders stiff, and you were facing a lot of background. And it couldn't really bring up that full amount of energy, that full amount of hand gestures and body language that we all know you for. And I felt, Avnish, that's something that you really, you have it in you. You just need to bring it out a lot more in front of you. 
So I would say do one of two things. One is if you're going to sit down and do it, take a step back, a seat back, and show the audience a bit more of your frame. Or stand up and do your speech and treat it like a normal speech. So I would say this will really help to bring your speech to the next level because you already have the basics well grounded. And the third thing, which I think you did really well, was you used the oldest trick in the book: personal anecdotes, a personal story. Because personal stories have always got that feeling, that emotion, that relation with the audience. And we, for one, definitely felt your story and resonated with angry young man Amnesh. So to recap, Avnesh, three things you did really well: humor, great humor, amazing pauses, hand gestures, as well as using a personal anecdote well explained. The thing that you can improve on is your screen presence as well as your signposting. So Avnesh, I'm looking forward to hearing your next speech, and back to you, General Valuator. Thank you, Darshan. A very energetic, clear evaluation for Avnesh's speech. Um, I have no comment on Darshan evaluation. It was tactfully. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching to the very end of this video. And if you feel you've enjoyed this video, go on and smash that like button below and also subscribe to the channel for more great content coming your way. And I also encourage all of you to share your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Darshan Devendran once again. And I'm more than happy to share with you my public speaking classes online. Go on and click the link below to find out more. And most importantly, see you in the next video.